Oh, you want a lightning fast, high performance array? Well, you definitely want to check out our A250s. You want some cheap and deep capacity to go along with it? Well, you're also going to want one of our FAS systems. Hey, that sounds awesome, but I also heard that there was this FAS capacity system, but it's also all flash? Is that what the FAS 500F does? Yeah! Wait, no, that's a, that's a, that's a C190. It, wait, is that FAS or is it all flash? Ugh. Oh, just hold up. We really need to fix this. And the good news is, we just did. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Nick Howell and I'm very excited to go over today's announcements with you around the 2023 storage portfolio launch. There is a lot to cover and there are likely some additional videos that are going to be spun out going into more detail, but let's go over the full announcement and changes for today. Fellow hardware geeks, this video right here is for you. Now I'm going to do my best to give the full picture without losing any of the technical details, so bear with me here as we go through everything, okay? For deeper details, I'll be hosting an episode of NetApp On Air here in a couple of hours at 10 a.m. Pacific over on the NetApp YouTube channel with some very special guests and they'll all be hanging around in the NetApp Discord throughout the week to answer any questions you may have after the show. Speaking of Discord, why aren't you in there yet? I mean, if you're watching this video, you're at least curious about NetApp or maybe you even manage some systems yourself. I promise you there's no better place to meet and interact with like-minded enthusiasts of NetApp. There's also over 100 members of our technical executive and support staff in there answering your questions, giving you some best practices and listening to your feedback. So whether you're a seasoned systems admin or a developer working with containers and Ansible in the cloud, you're going to find a home in our growing community. Come join us. Okay, on with the show. Today, NetApp launched its 2023 storage systems portfolio lineup. Now, if the skit at the very beginning resonated with you, it's because we've heard you. All of you. And we ultimately agreed that the naming conventions, especially around the entry level tiers, had become very confusing. But hold that thought, we'll come back to that. Because while we are introducing new systems today, where this launch really hit me personally was around alignment of those naming conventions. First, let's take a few minutes to lay some historical groundwork so that we're all starting from the same place. You see, in essence, there are three core pillars to the NetApp FAS and AFF lineup. At each end, there's the A-series all-flash arrays for those tier one workloads to get maximum performance. And then there's the FAS systems that support a mixture of SATA and SAS to cover those tier two workloads such as backup destinations and various unstructured data sets like home drives and departmental shares. What about that hybrid mix tier that kind of hangs in that gray area, right in between all flash and high capacity? Over the last few years, this hybrid approach has seen the most interest, so you've seen us launch a couple of new platforms that fit right in that sweet spot. Now, one of those at the edge and entry level is the C190, an embedded system with 24 960 gig flash drives you get a full ONTAP software stack and all the data reduction features customers have come to expect from it, right? The compromise was that there is no expansion capabilities such as adding various capacities of disks or even additional shelves. The beauty of this compromise is that most times at the edge, you're sending data back to a central data center or to the cloud and really only needed a smaller working set locally. So having all of that storage, about 50 terabytes, and all that horsepower of a NetApp all-flash array in a 2U footprint at that price point, man, it made all the sense in the world. On the other hand, if you had more demanding needs, you could step up to the behemoth FAS 500F, another 2U all-flash array with 24 embedded drives, but it has capacity options all the way up to 15 terabyte QLC flash drives as well as the capability for expansion to an additional shelf of 24 more of those 15 terabyte drives. All in VME and connected over 100 gig ethernet. So imagine 48 15 terabyte drives in a 4U footprint. That's horsepower. But of course your budget mileage may vary, which is why both options exist in the first place. Okay, now that we've laid the groundwork, let's go over the rest of the portfolio and slot in the new systems and naming convention alignment that really brings it all together. From this point forward, all of our all-flash systems will be in the AFF category, if that wasn't clear before. We're going to draw a line right down the middle here, and on one side, we're gonna have performance, and on the other side, capacity. Again, both sides, all-flash. The performance side, we're going to refer to as A models, and the capacity side, we're going to refer to as C models. 
On the A side, you start with the A250 with 24 internal drives and a max drive count of 48 using an NS224C shelf over 100 gig ethernet. If you've watched my other videos here on the channel over the last year, by the way, you'll know that I've got one of those sitting right over there in the rack. Or do I? You see, come to find out, it was actually a FAS 500F, not an A250, and in that video, I was even confused about what an a FAS 500F is. So, to clear up some of that confusion, the FAS 500F has officially been renamed to the C250, a QLC capacity flash-based system sitting alongside its high-performance TLC-based A250 cousin. See where this is going? By the way, look at that beautiful modern bezel. It's been a hot minute since we did a bezel update. I mean, seriously, it's been nearly a decade. And my hat's off to the design team for absolutely knocking it out of the park. But wait, there's more. Additionally, we thought, hmm, why stop there? Why can't every tier have a QLC capacity flash cousin? Boom. Just like the A250 and the C250, there's now an A400 and a C400, as well as the A800 and the C800, with the core differentiator being TLC performance flash versus QLC capacity flash. Get it? But nope, we're not done yet. We didn't stop there either. The interest and success of the C190 since its launch cannot be understated, especially for the rise of Edge and especially for remote office and retail applications. We still needed that entry-level starter box that also doubles as an excellent Edge appliance. At the same time, there's been a resurgence in interest around our earlier generations of the A200 family, namely the A220 with its big boy 12 core CPU and other era defining features and flexibility, such as the DS2246 expansion shelves. But we couldn't have another A200 named system in the lineup, that, that would just be confusing all over again. So today, I'm excited to introduce you to the all new A150. The A150 brings all the value of the C190 forward, but builds on it with some key upgrades. We're talking up to 40% higher performance more scalability with up to two SAS expansion shelves and 72 drives from a variety of 960s, 3.8s, and 7.6 terabyte options with a max effective capacity of 2.2 petabytes. Yes, you heard me right. 2.2 petabytes in 6U. I'm going to pause for a second just let that percolate because that is unbelievable that we are at that level of density in 2023. Just, wow. Got it? Whew. Okay. So there you have it, gang. The all-new storage portfolio lineup from NetApp for 2023 and beyond. The AFFA series with the highest performance and sub-millisecond latency for your most demanding workloads. The AFFC series with the high-capacity flash and our traditional FAS systems that bring a balance of performance, budget, and capacity to the table with 10K SAS drives. All of these can be included in FlexPod builds, managed with Blue XP, and are surrounded by the richest management suite of software in the industry, giving you automation, data protection, and security across your entire data estate on-prem and in the cloud. There are a slew of other things in today's larger announcement around refresh programs, our sustainability goals, and our cloud storage options, but I'm gonna make a separate video on each of those so that we can give them the time they deserve. This right here, this is a hardware geek out video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're as excited about these new platforms as I am. If you wanna see my personal journey working with an A250, is it a FAS 500F? No, I guess it's technically a C250 now, right? Anyway, you'll have to go watch and see right here on the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and uh, give the video a like here. It really does help. We'll see you next time. Take care.